Facts about Doug Marsadia you did not know. Doug was born and raised in the Philippines. He is very proud of his roots, however. He relocated to the United States when he was just a teenager, at an extremely young age. No matter how much time he spends away from his home country, the Philippines is a place that will always be near and dear to his heart and he regularly mentions his roots throughout the show. Troubled child. I got in too many fights and my father eventually said, you know what, you're gonna need to turn some martial arts because you're gonna have to defend yourself. So I'm thinking, yes, now I'm gonna get to kick ass with style. But then what happened? I learned the discipline. I learned how to control myself. And that's when I actually restart to enjoy it for an art form. Martial arts actually is- Martial arts has been a major part of Doug Marsadia's life for many years even when he was just a teenager. During an interview with Off Grid Web, he stated, I started as a kid with basics of karate, kickboxing, and taekwondo, but it was always a side hobby. It wasn't until I discovered Filipino martial arts in my mid-twenties that I really became serious about training. I studied under the several grandmasters and after years and years of significant practice, Doug Marsadia got to the level where he is now teaching martial arts to other young people. It goes full circle and this is another one of Doug Marsadia's sources of the income. Hi, it's Doug Marcada here and I want to say thank you to all you awesome followers of the show and allow me to share with you a giveaway. I'm partnering up with Dodge that allows me to say thank you to you awesome followers. You know, on the show, to be a Forge and Fire champion requires a lot of dedication and a lot of time. Simply to turn. You may not know that Doug Marsadia has been on YouTube for over a decade long. And in that time, he has built a very impressive following. On top of having nearly 80,000 YouTube subscribers, his channel has gotten more than 3.9 million views. In fact, his YouTube channel is what led him to getting the opportunity to be a judge on Forge and Fire. He uploaded videos before he became famous and to the level where he is now. And you are able to tell from his early videos that Doug was always a humble man. Doug may be a very tough guy who could drop most people in the blink of an eye, but he has a soft spot for dogs that many just don't know about. He is a very proud dog dad to an adorable little puppy. Although he hasn't created a separate Instagram account for his dog, Doug's fur baby makes frequent appearances on his profile. I've been doing this for over 25 years now. I got into weapons part of it when I was in the US military. I've always done martial arts, but I've never focused on weapons. It was the one thing I hated because I was afraid of it. But later on, I understood that you might as well face your biggest fear. And knives were my biggest fear. And while I was in the US Air Force, I... Most people are lucky if they get to have one great adventure during their lifetimes. But Doug has been fortunate enough to have several of these massive adventures that he doesn't really speak too much on. After relocating to the United States, Doug joined the Air Force, where he served for nearly a decade. When he left the military, he went on to spend 20 years working as a respiratory therapist. And in the process, he went on many adventures and done lots of new things. Doug Marsadia is an honorable man who dedicated much of his life to the service of the country and is truly someone who deserves respect. And in addition to having lived in two countries, Doug also likes to travel as much as he can. He has been blessed to be in a position that has allowed him to visit all kinds of different destinations. Some of the places that Doug Marsadia has been to include Mexico, Hungary, and even France. However, since Doug Marsadia is a very busy individual with multiple business ventures, he doesn't get to go on as many vacations as other people might. Let's talk about your Sutton Hu sword here. First up, it is a massive beast. There's a lot of weight to this. Now, this is a very thick and hairy wild boar. So the cuts are deep despite all that here. 
Overall, sir, your weapon, it will kill. Thank you. All right, Josh, your turn, so you ready? That's why I'm here. Some fans may not know that being on Fortune Fire has been a great experience for Doug in more ways than one. On top of giving him the chance to be on TV, it has also allowed him to expand his knowledge. He told Off Grid Web in an interview, quote unquote, I have learned so much about the weapons I train with. From discovering iconic weapons, from history, to understanding the process of blade making. It has allowed me to give a true personal understanding and in a romantic sense, to be able to see the process where the soul of the bladesmith is transferred to the weapon. In other words, Doug Marcidia has a new appreciation for bladesmiths after being on the show for multiple years. The best piece of advice I've ever been given is simply have fun with your passion. If you had fun, you still win. That's what I think everybody should do in life. Being in the spotlight usually makes it harder for people to maintain their privacy. But that hasn't been the case for Doug Marsadia. Since Fortune Fire isn't the type of reality show that focuses on Doug's personal life, he has been able to keep a lot of it out of the spotlight and to himself to enjoy and properly flourish. Although he is very active on social media, he hasn't revealed too much on his personal life, and most of what we got from this video came from public interviews he made. Time put in, and I know a lot of us are now doing the 25-8, and I want to say thank you to all of you who are putting that time in. You are awesome for doing that, because we're all doing it to be successes in life, to master life in itself. But anyways, I'd like to say thank you to all of you and please go to dodge258.com. Join in. Nobody who works in the entertainment industry would be where they are without people who support their work. And that's something that isn't lost on Doug Marsadia. I get to share a lot of myself. A lot of my teachers say, why are you putting your stuff on video? Why are you sharing it all over YouTube and giving out the secrets? Well, number one, there are no secrets. Everything with social media will be shown out there. This is my passion. I celebrate what I do. I always think that, look, I'm gonna die. We all are. I want it out there for my children, my family to see that. This is what- He is grateful for everyone who has shown him love and he does his best to show it right back by reposting things on social media and even on the Doug Marcedia fan group on Facebook. 